Hi guys, my name is Marty from letsbuildwp.com and today I'm going to show you how to install different plugins and themes on WordPress. Okay, so just before we start installing our different plugins and themes, I do just want to quickly mention that this is only going to work if you're using your own self-hosted version of WordPress, so that's wordpress.org. If you're using the free wordpress.com version, this isn't going to work. To set up your own self-hosted version of WordPress, just click the link on screen now and you can check out my other tutorial video, which is going to show you how to do that. If you are using the self-hosted version of WordPress, from your dashboard on the left hand side, if we just click where it says plugins, I'm going to cover how to install WordPress plugins. So when you click plugins on the left hand side, you're going to be brought to a page which is going to show you a list of all the different plugins you have installed on your site. From this list, you can activate and deactivate each of the plugins in the list by clicking either deactivate or activate. Then to add a new plugin, we can click up at the top where it says add new. And here we can search through the different featured, popular, recommended or favorite WordPress plugins or if you know the name of the plugin you're going to search for you can just type that into the search bar in the top right. Say for this example I wanted to install the Akismet plugin here I can just click here where it says install now and WordPress is going to install the plugin automatically we just need to click here where it says activate plugin. That's going to be the plugin activated and we can click here in the plugins list where it says settings underneath the plugin name and then we can set up some of the plugin settings. Not all plugins are going to have this settings button in the list and sometimes you are going to have to search for them in your dashboard. They're normally going to be under settings or tools. Other times they're under appearance and sometimes really you're just going to have to search each of these options to find whereabouts the plugin is. Each plugin is different so unfortunately I can't tell you where it's going to be. We can also install plugins that we download from other sites and to do that we can just click up at the top where it says add new. Then here instead of searching we just click again at the top only this time where it says upload plugin. Now we're going to click choose file in the middle and then we're going to search for the plugin file on our computer. Whenever you download a plugin from an external source, it should be in a zipped file. And when you find the zipped file, just click on it and click open. Then you'll see the theme name appear here and we just need to click install now. Once again, just like before, WordPress is going to do this automatically and we just need to click activate plugin. As you can see, the plugin's now activated, and here we can see I've just installed the Theme Check plugin. This is a perfect example to show you because this plugin doesn't have the settings option like the first one did. So on the left hand side, if I just go through the different options, I'll see that it's here under Appearance. So here where it says theme check, that's the new plugin that I just installed. So that's how to install plugins on WordPress. And now I'm going to show you how to install themes, which is basically exactly the same. Only instead of plugins on the left hand side, we click appearance. And that brings us to the themes page. Here we're going to see all the different themes we have already installed on our WordPress site. So for me, I have five. Then to add a new one, we can click up at the top where it says add new. And here we can search through the featured, popular or latest themes. If we know the title of the theme we're searching for, we can type it into the search bar in the top right. But say for this example, I wanted to install this theme. We just need to hover our mouse over it and click install. Then just like the plugins, WordPress is going to download the theme automatically and then we just need to click here where it says activate to activate the theme. Or alternatively, we can click here where it says live preview to see how the theme is going to look. 
Then if we're happy with everything, we can click save and activate, or else click the X in the top left to go back to the screen before. So I'm just going to activate it for now. And then if we click up at the top where it says visit page, we'll see that the new theme is live on our site. Then once again, we can install themes from an external source. And to do that, we just need to click appearance on the left hand side, then add new up at the top, and then upload theme again up at the top. Now I just click choose file in the middle, then find the zipped theme file. Once again, the theme files are going to be zipped. Just find the zipped file and then click open. You're going to see the theme name appear here and then you just want to click install now. It's going to install automatically and we just need to click here where it says activate. And now when we visit our site, we'll see that the new theme is live. So that's how you install different plugins and themes on WordPress. I hope you found this video useful and if you have, please give the video a like and feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel where I release WordPress tutorials like this one quite often. Once again, my name's Marty from letsbuildwp.com and thank you very much for watching my video.